Hello, you're welcome back to podcast with EUC. I'm your host, Kayo De Ajaye, and today I'm joined with my co-host, Esther Omi. Yes. And if this is your first time joining us, you are welcome. For our subscribers, you are welcome to another episode. Yes, and you know the last time we talked about investment, that was the first podcast with EUC. And today, we'll be talking about allocation. I will be joined by a very wonderful guest in no time. But before then, Esther, you're looking really, really awesome. Thank Esther. you. And you know, with EUC, it's an opportunity to be educated on the do's and don'ts of real estate. It's an opportunity for you to know or have the knowledge of how real estate in Nigeria works. It's an opportunity for you to know where to invest your money and land. So this is the first opportunity. And if I were you, I will use the opportunity. Or what do you say, Jose? Isn't that cool? It's just a small opportunity to tell people more about business and real estate and anything concerning investment and some other things. And so if you have not even watched our former episode, I think you should rush. And subscribe and go back and watch the former episode. Rush! And today we'll be joined by a wonderful fellow to explain the topic that we have Perfect. today. He goes by the name Mr. Chigoze Peter. <laughs> Mr. Peter, you're welcome to our program. Welcome, sir. Thank you very much. Sir. It's really nice having you. Oh, the pleasure is mine. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Peter, I want you to educate us or educate our viewers on the concept allocation, particularly land allocation. Thank you very much. You're welcome. First of all, my name is Peter. I'm admin and allocation manager AUC Homes. Um, allocation is the delivering or the giving of purchased property. But in this case, you're talking about land, the delivering of landed property to a subscriber or buyer. So please, can you explain more? When you say delivering of lands, what do you mean by that? The giving of land to the purchaser, I mean the purchased land to somebody who bought the land. For instance, if you come to me and ask me, oh, I want a, pro a property in one of your estates. I'm going to give you a provisional allocation on paper. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you, oh, by going by the plan I have, I mean, what, I, what do I even mean by plan or layout? Going by the layout that I have, I give you block this, plot this, in a particular estate, depending on the one you asked for. Now, after that, I would uh, go through my layout and make sure to know where and what is available for me to allocate to you. That is allocation on paper. Mm -hmm. Now, going forward to allocation, physical allocation, is the time when I will take you, for instance, as the buyer or the purchaser to the estate physically mm -hmm. and then tell you this and that or the other block is where you have. So and that I can use my higher Yes, yeah, so then you can step on your land and then you can you know, uh, before the process is off. From your definition of allocation around the concept, you were talking about physical and uh, paperwork, you know. So I want to understand, does that mean there are two different, you know, types of allocation? Yes. You know, for viewers to listen, please? Yes. You want exactly. to touch it on that, please? Yes, yes, yes. There are two phases to allocation. Mm -hmm. One is the paper allocation or okay. the or the provisional allocation. Oh. This is where I go through. Uh, I go through what I have on my layout. First of all, what is a layout? It's yeah. a kind of arrangement or a design that details the plot ID, mm -hmm. block number. When I say plot ID, I mean block number and plot number. Mm -hmm. Then the roads, where the road should be, and other amenities in a particular parcel of land. A parcel of land is not just a plot of land. A parcel of land gathers all the plots mm. into itself. Mm. A parcel of land can give you a whole estate. Wow. Good. So it's the one that uh, is the layout now that details to me mm. where and what is available. Then I can assign a particular plot ID to you. This layout mm -hmm. details the plot ID. And when I say plot ID, I mean the block and the plot number. Mm -hmm. That will tell me where and what is available. Block A, plot D is available. Then I will assign that to you on paper. When I assign that to you on paper, you take that, 
get a surveyor. A surveyor is the one now that will expatiate on what I have there, get the coordinates. Now you take that coordinate and do a search. I follow. Yes. You take that coordinate and do a search uh, to know what if the property is encumbered or committed. When I say encumbered, at times, uh, at times there are when you say property is being encumbered, maybe there are roads that pass through that area and all of that, or it's the particular place I give to you is committed. Encumbrance is different from committed. When a property is committed, mm. it means that there are maybe a kind of structure or fixture, amenity by the government, a higher power than myself that is allocating this to you. Uh, maybe they want to build a, a, a stadium a or a police station wow. or any other thing that is yes. So it's up to you to go and verify, to find out oh, uh, what and what is involved wow. in this particular place. How? A surveyor will pick the coordinates of the land, or pick the coordinates. Every every surface of all every surface on this planet has number attached. I was going, I was even going to ask you that. Too, you know, while we are talking, I was now wondering. You know, with the numbers thing, you wonder how you know everywhere have numbers. You know, we're just talking about the block D and I. You know, your number stuff. I was wondering how you people just get to you know, the reason how you get to even know you know like the numbers. You know. Yes, and how and you know there's something with Google. Sorry to sorry to start you. There's something with Google uh, where you can just you know like get the numbers from anywhere you are. Like uh, this, you are going to social numbers and then you place it whether you're outside in diaspora, anywhere you are in the world. So how does that happen? Like it's, it's so I'm I'm really curious. Yeah, that's the surveyor's business. Oh, okay. Yes, it's not for you and I to know. That's the surveyor's business. The surveyor picks the coordinate. It's called coordinates. Okay. The coordinate that num those numbers from one point to the other are called coordinates. Now, when I take it to the surveyor general's office, I'll get to see the. For instance, take a case study of Lagos State. I take it to Alausa, the so to the surveyor general's office. It's when I key in that number, let's say number one, two, three, FDI, blah, 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 gather the number together, it will zoom in to that place, that particular wow. point of that coordinate. And this can be done anyway? Yes. So, so if I just put the number, I will see my plots. If you put in the number, you see your plots. Do you understand? So, Mr. In the, in, sorry to sorry to distract you, I'm sorry. I just want my the viewers to understand as we're going to be it. So that means once anybody can get a plot, so... I mean, you can get the numbers, as you said, anywhere in the world. Yes. It's not limited by a particular place. It's not limited by, by geographically or any other factor. No. Whenever you get to the right place, mm -hmm. that is why I took a case study of Lagos State. For instance, you go to Alausa, mm -hmm. to the Soviet General's Office, the Soviet, when, they, when they key in those numbers, those coordinates, mm -hmm. Into the assistant, it zooms in. You zoom it to zoom you in. It to say, oh, this place is in this particular lo local government. Mm -hmm. In this local government is in this particular district. In this district, it is in this estate. As in this estate is on this block. Mm -hmm. You get my point. Yes. That's how it goes. Mm -hmm. Then you'll be able to know. Then it to tell you that oh, this particular place, a road is passing through here, or there is this particular plot or this particular area is committed to so 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 or state, let's say a stadium so we can more or less say some sort of plan some plan of the state so like during allocation that we get all these things that you're talking about yes before the physical allocation you get to know all of the have all of these details mm, and from what you said before the physical allocation and does that mean the paperwork allocation has to be done first before even the physical allocation sure Wow, wow. Okay, so Mr. Peter, I would like to ask, so why is this allocation so important? Wow. Mm -hmm. Allocation is very important because, simply said, it grants you the ability to start development. Okay. When you've been allocated your floor, your property, you are given the right to go in and start developing whatever you want to develop. And you know, Mr. Peter, this is very interesting. You know why? Some people don't even know that you're supposed to be allocated before development. You understand? And most of our viewers, it's very good. It's an opportunity to learn because, you know, a lot of people just go about housing things. They don't even have, they have no idea. They have no clue. Yeah, that's why we are here. That's mm. why we are here to actually educate the problem. One more question. All right. What are the basic requirements in getting a physical allocation? Oh, that's beautiful. 
Um, take the case study of EUC homes. Uh, first of all, you need to get your statutory fees and levies cleared out. Okay. The documentation fees, you need to pay for your documentation fees and get your document that covers your provisional survey and legal document. Then you pay your development levy. The development levy is that a token you will pay to enable us, you know, go and get into sites and start providing the, little, the, the amenities, basic amenities we promised and so on. So Mr. Peter, I say we are very happy to have you in our show today. Thank you very much. I have learned a lot from what you have said and I also advise our viewers to watch carefully and pick every word that he says very carefully because they are very, 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 very vital. Mr. Peter, you have a lot of wealth of wisdom as per real estate and we look Thank forward to much. seeing you again. And this brings us back to our estate of the week. This is the segment that we bring one estate from EUC mm -hmm. and tell you a lot of good features about the estate. Mm -hmm. So I think our estate of the week today is Oceanwood Courts. Oceanwood Courts. Located in Soru Orimija town, just few minutes drive from Eleko Junction. I you know, uh, Esther, uh, one unique thing about this ocean wood court is the proximity to the ocean, few meters to the ocean. It's located in a prime area, a lot of good things around that place. And you know, it's also, there's also proximity to the Lakwe Lake Golf Resort. And the free trade zone, the lake free trade zone, the well talk about coastal roads. Oh, you want to talk about the 10-15 minutes drive, you know, to all the beaches in the Okwaja access. Imagine how you can just go to this beach, go to the next beach, go to the next beach. Isn't that interesting? And Ocean with Cost comes with the title of Deed of Assignment. It's currently selling for 12 million Naira, limited plus remaining. So rush now and get yours. Rush, rush, rush. Come to EUC and get a very wonderful experience with real estate. Because with EUC, we offer the best services, we offer the best when it comes to land. And we have land ranging from the island to the mainland. And many of your host, Kayode Ajayi, with my co-host, Esther. And we look forward to seeing you again. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. Like, comment, and share. God bless you. I follow for